to get together because um, I was looking, we were, I was trying out, we were trying out guitars and I found Omar and I thought Omar was amazing and I found Max and then Max told me about Ronnie being you know, an awesome singer and so then we I called us all into one room and we just it was amazing after that we went in that room and like everything just connected like everything was per perfect for us then later on we found Robert, Robert told us about the legend, supposedly Robert <laughs> <laughs> and then we just, then we just we went on from there and um, that's how probably we got started. Yeah. And someone had called me at my house and said, Hey, I just heard you guys won on Extreme Radio. I was like, Shut up, dude, don't fuck with me. <laughs> and like, no one ever pulls through. Well, this one kid wrote us, he said, His aunt worked for Epitaph, he really digs our music. And he said, Do you mind if I give him uh, your demo? And we were like, Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah. Um, and I, it's cool. And so he did. And uh, like, he kept writing us back. We really didn't think anything of it. And then I guess Brett was trying to get a hold of us for a while. And we never got the messages. And then um, one day he wrote us. And so that he wanted to meet us in his work for the label. And, uh How did you come up with that name? Um, me and Max, or Max and I, were sitting on a, on a porch, living at some kid's house, taking advantage, and sitting there, poor as hell, but I thought that was my fate, and I escaped it. And it's kind of like a, you know, like the name, it means a lot to me at the same time. Usually, I used to be in bands that, what the fuck is the name, I don't even know, you know, but this, this band name actually means a lot to me.
There's a place that I found As far as I can see This place lies with them The depths of my dreams In a garden surrounded by fire and trees Through the smoke of silhouette I can barely see If I could stay clean, I could stay with my band A man convicted of battery is on the run tonight. Ronald Radke was found guilty for his role in the death of 18-year-old Michael Cook. Ronnie Radke is still on the run. Take a good look, Ronald. Ronnie Radke, the authorities searching high and low for the 24-year-old on the run a little more than two years ago. Radke and his friends met up with Michael Cook and his friends. A fight was supposed to go down. Things went bad. Shots were fired. Cook was hit and killed. Find out Ronnie Radke, who still has a site on MySpace, which says he's online, once a part of the band Escape the Fate, jumped bail. Uh, you know what? Yeah, I was kind of hoping that maybe he would follow through. He seemed in court that, you know, scared. And I, I really kind of thought that he would. The, char the charges against the alleged killer were dropped. 22-year-old Chase Rader had a viable claim of self-defense. But Radke was convicted of battery, facing 18 to 48 months, was granted a five-year term of probation, but now he's nowhere to be found. I, I guess I figured it out. By nightfall, we will have bleeding it out. I'm like, fuck you, you know? Yeah, do you regret making the decision to go to the fight that day, or...? Of course, man. I regret going to that fight, man. I regret, I regret it, and I blame it so, uh, all, all, not all of it, because, you know, I, I take responsibility for my actions, obviously, now that I'm sober and understand it more. But I was high then, too, man. Then, and, and I went to rehab after that, and I did good. Um, Max, you know, gave me drugs again, straight up. <laughs> you know what I mean? And it's like, it's, I'm not blaming him, but I could have said no, but it's kind of hard when you're on tour in a bus. Man, but we're, uh one's friends, from exactly, what I understand. Exactly. And, uh, and it's Brian. like, I could see it in his eyes. He wanted my fucking position. He wanted my fame. And he's not better than me. I'll fucking tear him up. Look at him now, and then we'll look at him before. Before, after. He looks exactly, he even wears his fucking little, uh, like his little flavor state, little mustache thing like me now, man. Come on. And he went from fucking little emo kid to fucking... Hair metal boy or whatever you would call us. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Listen up, cause this is not the end. You're the last thing that crossed my mind. Relationships are based on trust. Well, I guess this one was.